Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alana if you are new and we are playing with drugstore only makeup products today. It has been forever since I filmed a drugstore only makeup tutorial so I'm very excited about it. There are lots of products going on that I am just obsessed with. They're going right into my everyday makeup bag. So if you want to see this everyday makeup using drugstore only products then keep on watching. I'm actually weirdly excited about this tutorial because I haven't played with strictly drugstore products in so long. So I'm going to start off with foundation. This one being one of my favorite drugstore foundations. It's the Maybelline Radiant Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation, which is sounding weird because I'm an oily skin girl, but for some reason this just lays on my skin beautifully. Whether it's a matte foundation or a very hydrating foundation, I'm going to need setting powder. That's just what I have to do with my skin type, but this is so beautiful. I wear the shade 21 Nude Beige. Look at that. I only have it on one side of my face. You can see it just lightly covers any like blemishes or scars, but it still looks like your skin. There's like a little radiant finish to it. Oh, love it. For concealer, nothing new here. This is one of my absolute favorite drugstore concealers. It is so good. We're not a fan of the doe foot applicator, but we can look past it. It's the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser in the shade 06 Neutralizer. This is going to be really great for brightening under my eyes. As you guys know, I like to put it in areas I want to brighten and then I leave it for a little bit and we're going to actually move on to setting powder before blending this in. Trust me. I know it sounds weird, but for some reason it just gives you a nicer coverage if you just let it sit for like just a couple of seconds. So I'm gonna go on to my setting powder. You guys already know I love the L'Oreal True Match. It's like the pressed foundation, but I use it as a setting powder. But here in Northern Ireland, Note is at Gordon's and that's a drugstore for us and it's my closest drugstore. Amazing, I'll put both up there just for, you know, variety if you can't get this one. But this is 01 Beige, it's a Luminous Silk Compact Powder and it is so nice. It looks a little bit lighter. Um, than how it actually is applied, but oh my goodness, I just have been loving this lately. I'm just gonna press it on all the areas surrounding where we just put concealer, and it just gives like that added layer of extra coverage without being cakey or powdery looking. Oh my goodness, I don't know why I haven't tried this sooner, but if you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend trying it out, even if you're not oily. Now I'm gonna go back to my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and just lightly start dabbing in all the concealer that we just put on. With what's left on that powder brush, I'm just gonna quickly set it so nothing sets in my fine lines. And the way it just blends out, when you let it sit for just a couple seconds or a couple minutes, it just blends out a lot nicer and it actually stays a lot longer too, where I feel like when you blend out wet concealer right away, it doesn't actually cover as well and it's easy, easily moved, if that makes sense. Like it's almost slippery, where this almost starts to dry. You have to kind of go by the concealer that you love, but most of the ones that I have are a little bit more wet, so if it dries just a little bit. It has a fuller coverage when you blend it out, but it also just blends out nicer. Um, from what I've found at least. Try it out and let me know if that works better for you as well. Okay, for bronzer, I'm going back to high school with this one. When I was looking through my collection for a drugstore bronzer, I realized I didn't have one. So I went out and bought the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the shade 022 Sun Bronze. This one is a little bit darker than like the original, like, you know, shimmery orangish one. It has a little bit more of a neutral undertone. Anyone else go through this bronze really quickly in high school? Okay, your more bronzer coming through. Low-key obsessed with that bronzer. That's staying in my makeup bag. Wow, <laughs> such a nice shade and it blended out really lovely as well too. Okay, moving on to blush. I picked up this one from Collection just because I loved like the bubblegum pinkness of it. It's the Soft Glow Blusher in One Shocking. I'm hoping it's not as like intense as that on my cheek, but I love a cool tone baby pink. I just feel like that's really flattering sometimes. Yeah, it's like really muted, so it's definitely one that you just like level up to what you want the brightness of. I feel like this is actually a really pretty spring color. It's like the perfect pop of a bright pastel pink. Anything that I'm using bronzer and blush wise, I always, always, always blend it into my eyelids. 
feel like you're probably sick of me saying that now, but I've always done that. I just feel like it always brings the look together, but I'm also gonna bring a little bit over the bridge of my nose. That's really pretty as well. I didn't get a highlighter just because I'm not really into highlighting at the moment. I haven't been for the last couple of months. That will probably change come spring, summer, but at the moment, I'm really happy with that. I feel like my skin still looks healthy. Like you can still see a glow from that foundation. And even those two um, products, the bronzer and the blush, there wasn't necessarily a sparkle or a shimmer in it, but there was definitely a sheen. Like it wasn't a flat matte shade, which always gives a really nice skin-like finish. So I'm happy with that. I also, for some reason, have zero drugstore eyeshadow, and I didn't know where to begin. I didn't know if I wanted to get a single one, a stick, a palette. I kind of felt overwhelmed, so I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and the Rimmel bronzer that we just used and just create like a nice, soft base. Just using that same bronzer, really buffing it in from the root of my lash to the crease, and then go in with a little bit of blush as well. Pretty. Okay, I'm gonna quickly curl my lashes before we move on to eyeliner. Okay, for eyeliner, we're gonna do a nice, thick cat eye, and I'm debating putting it on my lower waterline as well, but we'll get to that bridge when we're there. This is the L'Oreal Le Liner Signature in the shade One Noir Cashmere. So black. <laughs> we're gonna go in with this because it is fine tip. It's like a gel consistency, so it really glides on easily. <sighs> this is one of those moments where I'm like, okay, what are we doing here, Alana? Sorry, something's itchy. I feel like I have a little hair here. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go for it. That's really easy to blend out. I'm hoping it kind of dries down a bit because it is very easy to move. And obviously I don't want to like touch my eye once and then it be a big black blob. I'm happy with that. I will take it. I will take it. Mm, I feel conflicted about if I put, should put something on my lower lash line. We're going to go into mascara and then I feel like I'll have a better idea if I want to do that. As you know, already I'm obsessed with YSL The Shock. Recently tried another mascara that's high end and I'm obsessed with it as well. And I really want to feel obsessed with a drugstore mascara. So I had a friend on Instagram that actually recommended this one. It is the L'Oreal False Lash Architect for Dimensions FX Fiber. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. It's not a plastic wand, it's like a, a bristles wand, but it's nice and thin, which I really like as well because you can really get into the root of your lash. So let's just pray it doesn't smudge because if this works, I feel like it's an underrated one because I've never really heard of this one. Has anyone else heard of L'Oreal The Architect Mascara? It is a drier mascara. Maybe that's the fibers in it because they can dry out the mascara, but I really like the wand. It's nice and thin, easy to work with. Actually loving that. I feel like that's really pretty. I'm gonna put this up here because I'm filming this on Tuesday, but I'm gonna edit this video on Wednesday. So you'll know if it transferred or not. Praying it doesn't. <laughs> okay, um, I'm kind of happy with how it's looking. I might put a little bit of this, what is this, NYX Wonder Pencil. It's just an eye brightening pencil. Might actually put that underneath instead of black. This is the Lip Liner Couture by L'Oreal Paris in 630 Beige in New. This is one of my favorite drugstore ones. You guys have seen it before. I'm gonna quickly outline my lips and then I bought a new drugstore lipstick. Great dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's like your lip liner. Your lip, but better. That's exactly what it looks like. That actually looks really pretty on its own. But I bought this one yesterday. It is from Maybelline. It's 842 Rosewood Pearl. It's a color sensational. I think it's a satin one. It wasn't a matte. It definitely has like a little bit more of a sheen. It's a pretty nudish color. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand first. That's really pretty. I think rosewood possibly comes in like a matte shade, but I just wanted a bit of a sheen instead. I'm gonna just pop a little bit more blush on the apples on my cheek, just for a little bit more color right there. All right, this is the final look using all drugstore makeup. There are a lot of items here that are going right into my everyday makeup bag. This is a very signature Alana makeup look. Obviously the eyeliner is optional depending on the day, but really love it. Really still hoping that mascara doesn't transfer because I am loving the effect of it. Let me know in the comments down below some of your drugstore favorites because I feel like I need to double dabble a little bit more in drugstore. Like I am impressed. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to put a little bit of this L'Oreal Infallible Magic Setting Spray. Ooh. 
that's really nice okay don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye